Hey guys, Mahe Kahale with Core Team Hawaii. As one of the team's agents who handles buyers every single day, I get a lot of these questions all the time when it comes to buying houses in Hawaii. Let's cover some of those things today. Whatever my max purchasing power is, is where I should buy. No, not necessarily. The lender that we're gonna connect you with is gonna give you different values. This is your price point that you should target based on you wanna spend this much monthly. This is going to keep you at a conventional mortgage or this one is gonna be your max. There are multiple different numbers and scenarios that the lender is gonna help you figure out. But no, your max purchasing power is not always a good idea. The best way to buy a house is to pick one that you one, love, two, can comfortably afford to live in while still leading a good, happy life day to day. Another myth for maybe those who are investors or who are looking to live here part-time, buy a second property. No, you cannot Airbnb any property you have here. Not every property is Airbnb-able. You cannot VRBO every property here. It's actually pretty limited as to what can qualify for short-term rentals. So if you are looking to be profitable and have something that cash flows as a short-term rental, it's not what it used to be. So please keep in mind if you're looking at a second property here, if you would like to stay in it for parts of the year and then rent it out for other parts of the year, please be aware that there are minimum lease terms now. So most things do not qualify for short-term rentals anymore. You can even Google it out. The, a lot of those will be readily available online. I don't wanna get into too much detail about it right now, but we have made a couple of videos, more coming soon, and we will be discussing the topic further. Another myth about buying a home in Hawaii. I should find a home that I like before I start my pre-approval process. No, absolutely not true. If you find a home and you're not pre-approved, you run the gamble of the time that it takes me to get pre-approved, that home is getting scooped up by somebody else who already did the legwork before looking at houses. Before we start looking at homes, before we start showing homes, before we start falling in love with homes, we get you connected to a lender and fully pre-approved with the green light to write offers. Better to have everything going before you start looking at houses. That way you don't miss out on an opportunity if something comes up that you really like. Another myth about buying a home here, buying a home in Hawaii, buying a home with us, is that you don't wanna reach out to us too early. Just because you reach out to us and we have a consultation doesn't mean that the pressure is on, we need to pull the trigger now. We're not trying to pressure you into buying something right away. We are trying to give you as much information as possible to determine whether or not buying is a good choice for you. But without scheduling a consultation and meeting up and talking story, we don't really know how to help you moving forward. The biggest myth that we want to bust for today is that we are too busy to help you. It is too early to call us. It is not the best time. We don't want to bother Derek and Mahe. They probably have a lot of clients that they're helping all the time. We're never too busy to answer the important questions that you guys have about the buying process. So please reach out to us. We would love to connect with you guys. We're more than happy to give you as much info as we can to kind of figure out what the best steps are moving forward for you. Bottom line is whatever's going to be the best decision for you and your family moving forward, We'd love to help you figure it out. If I have pre-qualified online, I'm in position to buy a home. That is not true. So there's a big difference between being pre-qualified and being fully pre-approved. If you have not given your financials, if you have not talked directly to a lender for them to run the entire application, then you're not technically pre-approved. And until we are pre-approved, we cannot write offers on homes. Another home buying myth. The listing price is what I'm gonna pay for the house. That can be true. What they're listing that home at, that's like a suggested price. That's not the final answer as to what it's gonna take to get accepted on that home. Now, depending on days on market, depending on recently sold comps in the area, say you're cruising other websites, right? You're not really connected with us yet. Just keep in mind when you're looking at homes, that list price is not always exactly what that house is worth. So sometimes if it looks like it's listed higher than what you can afford, it might not actually go for that high. But also keep in mind on other markets, sometimes it goes higher than that list price. So it's super important to get linked up with a professional. Let us help you with that so we can look into what it's actually gonna take for what a fair offer price might be for a house. Another myth about buying a home, it's cheaper to rent. That can be true, but it isn't always. When you're looking at different areas, depending on the parts of the island that you're on, the, the market that you're looking at, sometimes that rent is pretty high and you don't know 
what your numbers actually are going to be for what your mortgage payments would look like. For some of our clients, it ends up being similar, the same, sometimes a little cheaper, maybe a little bit higher. The difference is that you are now paying into something that you're working towards owning, that you're getting, you know, you're gaining equity on. Can I afford to buy? Is it around the same? Is it cheaper? Does it cost a little bit more, but it's worth it to me? All super important questions. Call us so that we can help you figure it out. Another myth is that you're gonna get the same rate no matter where you go. So when it comes to lenders, a lot of things matter. Rate obviously does matter, but there are a lot of other moving parts too that you need to consider when choosing your lender. Are they communicative? We're in Hawaii, right? So if we work with a mainland bank, sometimes they're not awake when we're awake. Sometimes they can't rush a pre-approval when we need it. They can't give us that, that letter to submit that document. No, you are not gonna get the same service or rate from every lender you go to. So it is super, super important to get linked up and work with somebody solid. Thank you again for watching. So this was just a quick one to discuss some of the myths about buying a home here in Hawaii. But really, if you have more questions and you wanna know more truths about what it's actually gonna take to be a homeowner here, what it actually is going to take to buy a property here in Hawaii, please go to our website, fill out the contact form, and I hope to see you on a consult soon.